Read with me. Antworm's Tale Long ago, an aunt and his sister, Aniko, went swimming. They swam all afternoon and became very tired. They were exhausted and climbed onto a large, flat rock to rest. Soon they fell asleep. A strange and mysterious thing happened as they slept. The rock beneath them grew and expanded until it reached the clouds. An aunt awoke and looked around. Sister, wake up, he cried in disbelief. Am I dreaming or are we among the clouds? Anika rubbed her eyes. You are not dreaming, brother. This rock has grown while we slept. The children looked around and saw fabulous blue sky and wonderful white clouds. The children were so high, Anika felt dizzy. An ant searched for a way to climb down, but he could not find a path. An ant and Anika started to cry. They felt fear and dismay. Below, the villagers became worried. Where were the children? They searched the forest, meadows, rivers, and lakes. Then Isha, the village chief, looked around and noticed Hawk sitting on a tree branch. Hawk, will you help us find an aunt and Anika? He asked. You have sharp, watchful eyes and strong wings. They are your best features. Please use them to help us find the children. Hawk agreed to help and flew up into the sky. He tilted his head and squinted his eyes at the bright sunlight. When he was near the clouds, he spied the children on the rock. Don't be afraid, said Hawk. We will rescue you. Hawk was unable to carry the children down the rock, so he gathered lots of food for them to eat. Then he brought large leaves to keep them warm. Hawk wanted to make sure they were safe and unharmed. Hawk flew down to the village and spoke to Isha. Isha called all the animals together and told them they needed to help get the children down. He asked each animal to use its most special feature to climb the tall rock. Several tried and failed. Mouse's teeth were strong and unique, but they couldn't help her climb up the rock. Bear's huge claws were good for climbing up trees. However, they could not help him scale rocks. Mountain lion's claws were sharp and powerful, but the rock was too slippery and he slid back down. Finally, a tiny voice filled with enthusiasm spoke up and offered to help. May I try, please? It's me, Two Talk, the Antworm. Antworm showed them all how skillful she was at climbing. Hawk volunteered to carry Antworm to the top of the rock. Then she could lead Anant and Anika down the giant mountain. Isha agreed to the plan. So Hawk carefully picked up Inchworm in his beak. Together they flew to the top of the rock where the children were waiting. Along the way, Inchworm planned for the trip down. It took almost a week for the three to climb down to the village. Inch by inch, Inchworm led the children carefully down the rocky slope. Every day, Hawk brought food to the children. Every day he reappeared in the village with news for the villagers. Finally, Antwerp, Anand, and Anika reached the bottom of the rock. Everyone cheered and called Antwerp a hero. It was a glorious, splendid day. From this day on, said Isha, I renamed the big rock Tutak on Ula, after the brave Antwerp. What unique feature does Inchworm have? How does it help? What do your special features help you do? Thanks for watching Whimsical Teacher Tube. Don't forget to like and subscribe.